Hi everyone, this is Kathy Mason from Mason Works Marketing and I'm here today with Catherine Blake Thomason, who I call Kate. So if I slip a little bit, you'll understand. <laughs> I've known Kate for a long time and she's just gotten more and more um, astute and connected to divine source and able to help people in a miraculous way. Hi Kate, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? Great, great. Well, we called Kate the Joy Architect because she's able to architect and work with you to, to rediscover your joy. It's not like you don't have it underneath all that gunk, but she helps you find it on underneath all that gunk. And um, today I wanted to ask you a bunch of questions about joy as a productivity tool. Because I think people don't realize how important um, productivity and joy and mood is and how it all works together. So I was hoping that maybe you could talk to, to us about that. Yeah, I'd love to. I think probably the best way you can understand how important joy is is maybe from my own story where it takes you from zero to a hundred real quick. And that is when I really understood the importance of joy, I was like a lot of people who are now very well connected to spirit and their own soul purpose and so forth. I had had a health crisis. My health crisis was, um, so I found myself in this perpetual, uh, a problem where I couldn't breathe. I was sensitive to light. I was in the emergency room every uh, wow. three, four days. And they couldn't figure out what was wrong with me physically. There was nothing wrong with me physically. And so they said, well, it's psychosomatic. And I'm like, well, but it's a problem. I'm having seizures and so forth. It was quite desperate. And so then I had my, my, my folks were uh, taking care of the kids at the time. I had two little kids. And they said, hey, you know, Kate, if you don't find some way to enjoy yourself, you're going to be dead. And I said, oh, it was such a wake up call. And from that moment, things changed. And what I realized was that I had lost the connection with my joy. And that is why I'm so passionate about it. Because as soon as I turned that around, my whole life turned around, I realized how that flow of joy was feeding not just me, not just my own life, but my family, the people that I would meet in the grocery store, oh, it was absolutely affecting every part of my life. And so I'm really passionate about how I can help people because when I started, that flow of joy was, was quite small <laughs> because I had given my heart out to the rest of my universe and my productivity had gone down to nothing, <laughs> right. right? So it was, we were at zero, practically. The whole rest of the universe had to take care of me. So this is the absolute um, place of energy for your life. It is the place where you can really assist others, is when you're connected with your own joy. And from that grounded place, then you connect with others and you can lift them up. Wonderful. Well, so um, Kate, there's a, a process that both uh, you and I both took that teaches you kind of to, when you're in a, an emotional state, you flip it and, and then you eventually get to center. But what you do is so much different. It's like you um, get into the flow. It's, it's not just flipping the context of whatever the issue was. You don't just take the opposite. This is actually where you get back to where you're energized at it physically, emotionally, at every level. Could you talk a little bit about that, about the flow of joy and um, how you get people into that? Yeah, so a lot of people have heard about the elements when they talk about feng shui, right? you think about how the flow moves through a house. So I work with the Ellen elements, but what I do with the elements is I work with the flow through the body. 
Now, when the flow is fully moving through the body, it's moving as your soul moves through you. And so when you are fully in your soul expression, then your life feels like it's working. It feels like I, I can enjoy myself and others simultaneously. I can regain my own, um, my own energy without being depleted. Right. And what I do in the process that I engage people in, so I'm firmly planted in the elements, which means I not only can see, uh, can be in my own joy, I can also connect with their soul essence. So that soul essence moves through all of their aspects, right. through their spiritual body, through their mental, emotional, and physical body. Once right. they understand how this flow works, once they've seen it, then they can recreate it at any moment in a way that even when they are with people who have in the past been difficult for them to be with, they can say, okay, no, this is me. And now this is, this is how I'm going to create this relationship differently. They can create a joyful connection with the person they're with. Well, so Kate, why are people, most people not able to stay in joy? They might get to joy just like, um, you know, yeah, I did it. Or, or you're doing a project and you've lost all time and you were just in it and enjoying it to the max, but you don't get to stay there. Is that, is that something you come across and how do you deal with that? Well, when we go through our lives without standing in this flow, without standing in our soul essence, in which we often do from the time we're young, right? Where we're told, um, you know, that our inner life isn't so essential. Right. But what happens is then you go about uh, the business of life. You connect with somebody. If you don't quite interpret things correctly, our, our inner program gets messages that create a sort of kink in the flow. Ah. And then if we don't address the kinks in the flow, then they stay there and we start to feel a little disjointed and, and so forth. And so what I work with is I work with, okay, where? So once people are established in their own soul essence, where does life trip you up? Where do you have a, a misconnect? Where do you find your kinks? And so we go through like, for example, when you talk to your parents, uh, even when you're 50, 60 years old, are you going, oh, <laughs> you are pulling your, your hair out? You know, so maybe there's a kink there that's pretty important because our, our parents have had a lot of impact on our early days. So, um, so we work through those kinks so that you can maintain the flow when you are with uh, people that are important to you and have had an impact maybe on your, your previous uh, interactions so that those don't affect you anymore. Well, so I, I find that the whole philosophy that you're using is really um, a powerful tool for self-love and self-awareness and that it really helps you realize that you're creating your environment and that you can be a powerful, joyful creator and use that energy which could be used towards anger, uh, which may be part of the imprint that we have from childhood, but it could be um, used in a really productive way. Um, I'm, I'm seeing even with your, your um, testimonials that people are saying that once they discovered the elements, everything else made sense. They can always bring themselves back to joy. So could you talk about that too, about how when you've worked with people, you've seen once they discovered this process that, that it made all the difference? Well, absolutely. Because I think what happens is when we, aren't, we haven't fully grounded our being, we forget what it feels like. And so, so we lose that sense of groundedness in, in ourselves. And so... So let's say, for example, um, we have um, 
uh, come up with the best example. So, so when I'll go to my example, when I said, okay, I know what I need to create my own joy. And I, I had forgotten about it, but here it is. And I went into it and then I said, okay, in a matter of months, I was working with the elements and I was flying high as a kite. I was just like, I was so connected with life. And I, I was sitting in a moment of just such gratitude. And I said to myself, somebody needs to write a book about that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is fantastic, right? And, and I heard this little voice in my head, which didn't feel very little at the time. That's going to be you. <laughs> and I was like, what? I think you've dropped in on the wrong head. I'm not a writer. You know? <laughs> and so, and so from that moment, what I started doing is connecting other people to the elements. And so, for example, I would have this, you know, I had this one woman who uh, had trouble with alcohol. She had been going through uh, the AA program and she said, you know, life is just, it's a, it's a real bear right now. I, I've been told I need to meditate. I can't do it. I can't do it. And um, in, in 60 seconds, she was meditating like the pros. <laughs> and I was like, it was 60 seconds. And I said, so I don't believe when people say they don't enjoy meditation that they cannot do it because uh, they have just forgotten where they love it. They have forgotten how they love to be who they are. Mm. So when I help people to feel the joy of who they are, right like that. And it's like, it's like, oh, back home, thank God. <laughs> It's that connection with themselves that when you do these other practices, sometimes they're not complete enough that you say, I'm enjoying this. You know, it's like, it's a little snippet. It's a little this, a little that. Mm. It isn't taking the whole being into account. Right, right. When you have, um, when you have been quite outside yourself, and then you're like, I'm there. You're like, no, I don't want to leave this now. This is where I want to be. I know this is my my home base. This is where I enjoy interacting with the rest of life. So, um, so I've just most of the time what I'm encouraging people to do because we can connect with the soul essence right away is I. I encourage them to find the areas that aren't magical to them. Where, where are you not experiencing ah. that flow of joy in your life? And there's a kink there. And so when I work with someone, what I'm looking for first to establish is that they can see, feel, touch, you know, it really brings it into their own soul essence. How, how does the joy of being feel inside them that's the that's the first place but then where in the rest of life is it not fully flowing and so we go through each of the aspects that might be of concern for that individual their relationship with money their relationship with their partner their relation where whatever it is where that soul essence has been jostled out of shape <laughs> where can they not stand in their power Right, right. So when we talk about um, productivity, I want to swing back to that because I'm finding that the more grounded I am in me and uh, it really creates a clarity and I am so much more productive. And I'm, I'm wondering um, who, who would you say this work is best for, is mostly for? I mean, when you think about, because Everyone has busy lives. Some people work, some people don't. Some people work in the home. That's still work. <laughs> um, and and um, 
when when you think about um, like your free gift on your website is you know how to have joy no matter what. So yeah. so who who do you really think this is is uh, the this whole new concept? It's really a return to themselves, but it's a a, a pathway to joy. Who, who would you like to address this to and help, help support the most? Well, I found that where people understand that they want their joy now, oh. and, and, and they may be people who have done a lot of spiritual work and are feeling frustrated. They may be people who haven't as yet even begun uh, a spiritual practice, but they know that they want to be happy. It's like when they choose. So I can take anyone from anywhere in the continuum um, as long as they're saying, I want my happiness now. That's right. the decision from right there. And then I can take anyone through even the most spiritually challenging uh, hiccups um, to to their joy. That's that's. Uh, that, that's the beauty of the elements. Yeah. yeah. Well, your experience of being uh, a mom of two, a wife, and um, and then going through that um, downtime, I guess if you want to call it that, I mean, emotionally, physically, in every way down, and then worked your way back up, you would really be able to help a lot of women that are in the same, they, they, they did everything right. <laughs> they followed the good girl rules and they, and they still are, they're not fulfilled. They, it's because they're not putting any energy towards themselves. It's all external. And we tend to do that as women, I think. Yeah, I call that the female disease. You know, <laughs> we have such big hearts. We want to just give them out. And we've been told, I mean, a lot of uh, religious practices, for example, have said that you must give give, give. And that's the way to joy. And that was the prescription I was working with. Mm -hmm. I'm like, why isn't this one working? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm giving, giving, giving to the point that I forgot that I have even hardly existed. It was just all day. And so I can really understand when someone says to me, you know, I, I hear what you're saying. Joy is a great thing. But you know what? It's really, I don't have time for that. <laughs> yeah, that's the part. I understand. I They're already giving away all their energy, so there's nothing left. The battery's not full at all. I mean, I almost started crying. I mean, it's so it's so powerful what you're doing. It seems so simple, but it's not. It's really back to the source of who you are and lighting that spark of your soul again inside your body that allows you this incredible energy burst to do any creation you want. So, so it, it fills every aspect of your life, correct? Absolutely, and not only that, the people around you start to flourish. It goes absolutely the other direction from where you think it might we, where your fears tell you it's going to go because for example when i really turned on my joy my children started into this magical space oh. their connections lit up with the universe and i know when i first introduced uh just after you know so share you want to share right when you get this, this sort of yeah. burst of good stuff you want to share so i had a seven-year-old son and i said Hey, sweetheart, try this, you know, and I, I had him, I had him sort of sit in the elements just to begin. And he said, mom, I know what this is. This is my awesomeness. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, perfect. Very old man. <laughs> so he could, I realized that he had, while I lost my connection, so did he. But then when I brought it back, he was there with me one we were i was like spreading the joy literally and so you realize just how your emotions are 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 so uh contagious right it's like when oh, you, you lift people naturally and then they remember 
and then they remember. So that is, so it's not selfish. In fact, it's really fundamental to your happiness in your home because if mama's not happy, nobody's happy kind of thing, <laughs> right? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, well, and, can, how can um, people get a hold of you to find out more? And of course, um, a lot of people are gonna wanna talk to you to get some insight on, on what they really need because yeah. everyone's situation is a little bit different. So uh, could you share how everyone can get a hold of you and maybe about your free gift too? Yeah, of course. Um, so I think on your screen, you have my name uh, and my website is just my name, katherineblakethomason.com. And so from my website uh, or from there or from my Facebook page, uh, which is also under my name, you can find my free audios. And there are uh, three audios called Finding Your Joy No Matter What. So when you want to just, I just want to feel my joy again. Can I just feel that? Uh, that's that's when you sort of, that's sort of the, the dose that gets you to um, taste again. What, did, what was that joy I had one time, you know, experienced? I had one time felt through my being. And then, and then you can really get the thing going. Well, I'm so um, happy and um, grateful that you've spent this time with us. Um, this is a new uh, endeavor doing the Conscious Business Zone. And I can't think of anything more important to consciousness and raising consciousness than finding your own joy. So, Kate, I so appreciate you. And I'm so glad that um, I've gotten to experience this because it's so powerful and it's needed. It's really needed right now. <laughs> so thank you very much. And I uh, hope to see you again soon. Yes, so. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Kate. Thanks. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> there we go.